Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about alkyl group. Now friends, what is an alkyl group? An alkyl group is simply a type of functional group which contains carbon atom which is represented by C and contains hydrogen atoms which is represented by H. Now friends, how is an alkyl group actually obtained? Now, an alkyl group is obtained by simply removing one atom of hydrogen from an alkane molecule. Which simply means that if you take an alkane molecule and remove one hydrogen atom from this alkane molecule, what you get is an alkyl group. But what is the general formula of alkyl group? It's very very simple. For this you need to know the general formula of alkane. And what is it? CnH2n plus 2 is the general formula of alkane. And we said that alkyl group is obtained by removing one hydrogen atom from alkane, right? So, similarly, the general formula of alkyl group is obtained by just simply removing one hydrogen atom from the general formula of alkane. So, what do you get over here? Yes, CnH2n plus 1. So, the general formula of alkyl group is CnH2n plus 1. Let's take an example to understand this, right? So, here I have an alkane that is methane CH4. So, if I want to write the general formula of the alkyl, what I need to do is, yes, I need to remove one hydrogen atom. So, if I remove one hydrogen atom from CH4, what does it become? CH3 which is the methyl group. Let's do it for ethane. Ethane is C2H6. So, what I need to do over here is, yes, I need to remove one hydrogen atom. So, what will it become? C2H5 which is ethyl. Let's move on to propane friends. Remove one hydrogen atom. What do you get? C3H7 that is propyl. So, from this we understand that the general formula of alkyl group is CnH2n plus 1. And what does N stand over here for? Yes. N stands for the number of carbon atoms. Now friends, how do we actually name an alkyl group? It's very very simple. In order to name an alkyl group, you need to simply replace the suffix "-ane of the alkane with suffix "-yl". What do you need to do is, yes, you need to simply replace the suffix "-ane of alkane by "-yl". Let's take an example for this, right? So, here I have methane which is an alkane, right? So, in order to name the alkyl, what I need to do is, I need to simply replace the suffix ane of methane by yl. So, it becomes methyl. Let's do it for ethane now. What do you need to do? Yes, you need to replace the suffix ane by yl. So, it becomes ethyl. Let's do it for propane. What do you need to do? Yes, simply replace the suffix ane by yl. So, it becomes propyl exactly. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.